From the moment I set foot in the building of National Geographic, I knew I was in an incredible company. I mean, I was standing on the shoulders of giants who'd come before me and had blazed the most incredible trails around the world. I feel like I found a home at National Geographic that the things I wanted to photograph were the things they wanted to publish. Photography has taken me to places I never dreamed that I would go to and to meet people that I never dreamed that I would meet. It's been a scholarship to the world, a lifelong scholarship to the world. Photography has the power to inspire, to horrify, to change your mind, to change your heart, to change your actions. It's really kept me interested and engaged in the world. People don't know how incredibly hard work it is and how much um, dedication and passion um, and, and persistence and stubbornness that you really need for this job. Because no is sort of the starting point that you get when you're out, out there on assignment. You know, the first thing people say to you is no. And you take that as the beginning of the negotiating position and say, well, how, you know, all right, how do I get in there then? It's just sort of a driving curiosity to find out what's around the next corner, what's the story, what's the truth. Um, and, uh, and I think that that drive is, is really compelling and, and it's, you just have to do it. I love being out in the world. I love exploring, I love discovering things. I still love journalism, I love the narrative aspect of it, I love the storytelling. It just never ends. I mean, the, the one thing leads to another, you get interested in one thing and that leads to another thing and the passion just keeps, keeps going and going. When my little brother was uh, four years old, he asked my mom, what can I do that I never have done before? And uh, that sort of became our family mantra and we would just always ask that. And I still do. It still, you know, that sort of still keeps me going. What can I do that I never have done before? And that's pretty much been my life, I have to say.